Well, it's 8.10. Friday morning, I'm in the red dump truck. Just brought it back over the yard because it's raining too bad to go up to uh, Hagersville to go deliver a couple of loads. I think it might be all right though. I might try and convince the boss and let me go and do it. But the mini X is here. We got to set a post in at the gate. So when you put the gate down, there's a bar you can set into a post. So then it's harder to get the gate open. So I might go jump on the mini X and go do that for a little bit. I don't know if it'd make Ben too terribly happy, but hey, you know, stuff's got to get done. So Ashley's here in the pickup. And then uh, I think I might screw around here a little bit. See if we can get Ben to let me go uh, go do all that. But my haul truck's here, waiting for me to get back in it. I might go move equipment today too. We'll have to see. But yeah, rain day, boring day. Unless they'll let me go run around. So we'll see. Well, we're in the Mac Anthem, which is the new dump truck loaded with some SB2 and we are headed north to go way up in the middle of nowhere. Um, kind of storming a little bit off and on and it's pretty dry now. It's pretty dry at the mine so I think it'll be all right. Ashley forced me to take her with me and kept bugging me and bugging me and bugging me and I finally went fine. Whatever. The, now nobody's going to be there to let the dogs go pee in the middle of the day. So we'll probably have a little bit of a mess to come home to. But she didn't even bring her cowboy hat. She doesn't like being country or western. And we're headed out way out in the national forest to this guy's property. It'll probably take three hours one way, give or take. And then it's stormed a little bit, so we'll have to see if there's any uh, trees down or if the road's washed out or whatever. So, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. It just dumped this guy's property. I don't want to film on the inside of there, just so it's not all over YouTube. But we're going back up the hill and showing up out there. And this is a forestry road. It's very washed out and rocky and just beach up, going up it. Coming down load, it's not quite as bad. The truck suspension is designed to have a load on it. So when you go out empty, there's not all that weight in the back. It's considerably more bouncy on it. But we're, what are we, 17 miles from the road or seven miles from the road? 17. 17 miles and 17 miles from the highway. So we gotta go down road like this all the way to get back now granted it's wider than this and the trees don't hit it but going up the hill and the traction control goes off like crazy and I wait to lock it in I haven't had too many issues getting stuck out here but we did when last spring when it was raining real bad they uh, we slid off the road into the ditch with a loaded truck and we were able to we were able to get ourselves out and actually get the road load delivered but well, Jesus Christ part of the way up here are almost to the their house the road completely washed out but luckily enough they needed the gravel for where the road got washed out at actually it's not far from where we're at right now as a matter of fact but this is about what the road looks like the whole rest of the way out just a little flatter God. and i'm going oh between 8 and 12 miles an hour that's where they got a reach lift slid off the road when the contractors came out there they had to come out with a big rig wrecker and pull it out Yeah, that's our fun yep. for it. And we, somebody was 
was there at the gate and they blocked the road and we had to kind of get around them to get on the gate because they thought they were the only people here. But it doesn't surprise me, 17 miles down the forest she wrote it. You wouldn't think there would be anyone else out there, Jesus. What, what, a dump truck? Yeah, let alone a loaded dump truck. But we just love their place. We would totally take it off their hands if they wanted it wanted to get rid of it not that we have any money to buy it but you know we want to just give it away we would so be the caretaker for the property you know our being jesus christ hey, it's, it's been raining off and on last night and today up here so the the road's a little washed out not too bad but a little bit and it's narrow and I like to think you really need to be on your A game to come up here. But, I don't know. I think somebody who's just a seasoned dump truck driver would probably make it up here just fine. So this is where the road washed out at. I have a couple of pictures of us standing in it where the, um, it was, uh, it was past our knee, it was almost to our thigh. And so we just dumped the gravel right there. But it is beautiful. Give him that. It's a forest. Yeah. We definitely really like the area. But yeah, now we're turning heading home. We might go preload it and do this again tomorrow. Or preload both dump trucks and take this truck and then the red truck up here and do two loads. But I think Ben's gonna end up saying no because by the time we, we get back into cell service and we call him, tell him we're on our way back. There's supposed to be another round of storms coming through. We don't want to have a load of gravel sitting in both of the dump trucks collecting water, let alone what this row is going to be. Here's another switchback. You really got to hit these switchbacks correctly with enough speed to not just spin your tires trying to get up the <coughs> little ramp here. They said this road back the great grandfather, right? So. Homesteaded that piece of property and surrounded almost completely by national forest. And then this is a national forest road. And they said this road was more of a horse trail way back in the day. And that and only in the last like five years or so, they've actually been able to make it, you know, yearly or what year round a passable by a, a pickup truck yeah. but man you wouldn't want to bring your car out here that's for sure you really need something with uh, enough ground clearance to be able to get over the rocks and boulders and all that kind of stuff here's another switch back I try and carry a little speed here we go Jesus Christ there's a rock right in it to be able to not just spin your tires going up the whole way but we actually got stuck on his property and I was going to turn the camera on, but I didn't want to, like I said, I didn't want to have the filming inside of his property. Privacy's sake. But we got stuck two or three times and I had to pull off and come back. We ended up leaving some ruts. But they told me we can leave as many ruts as we want back where we were at because we were on kind of the corner of the property. And that he didn't, he didn't care about it. They ended up disking it anyways, so... He said, go ahead. So we just floored it, got ourselves out, got ourselves stuck, got ourselves out. And then I, instead of pulling across where we got stuck at, I pulled on to where the grass was at and then hurried and backed across it. And we were able to kind of make a straight shot and just carried as much momentum as we could and got right across it. Oh, here's a real bumpy part. Jesus. And I'm only going five miles an hour, four miles an hour. Up there. Practically crawling, we're in first gear, like 1200 RPM. Oh, yeah, this is all washed out. Well, it's, I shouldn't say it's washed out. It's just red, redded up. Washed out would be impassable. This has got a bunch of ruts and rocks in it and stuff. Good God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It has a washout. But at least it's not washboard coming up here. That's true. That sucks. 
Nebraska, most of the roads are washboarded. And they're just terrible to drive down them, especially to keep up your speed on them. But yeah, not a bad for rain day. Nope. We usually would not be working just sitting on our hands all day. Well, no, I should be working. Oh yeah, but they don't work today or Monday. Nope. So she gets a four day weekend. I get a one day weekend, and that's only because we're not working on Monday. But, I don't know. I enjoy doing it enough. I don't mind. All right, I'll we'll see we'll come preload this and come back up here or not. We'll come back up here tomorrow. I wouldn't do it today. We'd be, we'd be leaving this property in the dark if we did that. But, try and do two loads over the weekend, then we'd only have to do one load on Tuesday or Wednesday or whatever day it is. But if they get any more rain, I don't think we can make it across. There's already one tree down in the road, but only the branches were in the road, so it wasn't too big of a deal. But we'll see how the rest of the day goes. Eighteen ninety-eight. Yeah, going to William Wiley Williams, born October sixteenth, eighteen thirty-seven. He enlisted Colonel or Company D two Regiment, Ozark or Arkansas Valerie Cavalry. <coughs> Died September. Yep. Nine, September 9, 19, or 1898. And this is his footstone. Huh. Well, that's a whole lot more modern than this one. Yeah. So I think they redid it. But head foot. <coughs> oh, I think stuff like that's kind of cool. Come back remembered. People were from before us. Yeah. Well, Casey's Pizza for lunch. And it's pouring. Won't pour for very long, but I still need to go load the second load if Ben's gonna have me do that. And I got about an hour and change to be able to run up there. But it's raining hard enough, you might just say to do the one load over the weekend. I kind of want to knock out two, and then I only have one left for next week. Called the cat dealer to see if the six was ready to go, and it's not in the bay, but everyone's on vacation, so nobody could give me straight answers. So I'm not even going to bother bringing the little boy over there to go get something that's not ready, so we'll have to wait till Tuesday. But I think the boss wants to take Monday off anyways even though he might have changed his mind on that so we'll see but we need the rain but it's been a big damper on work but either way at least i'm doing something today and it is really coming down now I 
actually pregnant and had a craving for pizza. I'm not pregnant. I uh, don't Sorry, even... my bad. But it is pouring. <laughs> 